What's going on everybody? Uh, I am not in Florida at the moment. I am currently in Athens, Ohio. Uh, just getting ready to leave one of my uh, best friend's house. But uh, yeah, so I have come up here to spend the week up in Zanesville, Ohio. So in this video, I thought it'd be cool to show you a little of the city that uh, I lived in uh, for about six years from 98 to 05. So that is what this video is going to be. And it is super cold out. It is 20 degrees. Uh, it was 80 degrees when I left Florida. And there's snow on the ground. Let's see. Get it in focus. But yeah. Snow everywhere. Got it on the windshield. I just had to scrape the windows. Uh, but yeah, I miss Florida already. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get back and uh, get to Zanesville. And then probably in the next day or two, I'm going to get some videos of Zanesville and uh, show that to you. So here we go. Okay, we are back in Zanesville, Ohio, and I'm driving to my old high school. Uh, they have rebuilt a, a new school, so I don't know if the old school is still here or not. But uh, this is the road I used to drive to the school, and we're going to turn right up here at the light and that will be where I went to high school. West Muskingum Schools. That's the school I went to. And that is the middle school I went to. I think it's now an elementary school. Not sure though. It says it's a middle school and I don't know what that building is. That that building's new. We used to park right there. Yeah, my high school used to be right here, so it's gone now. And this used to be our <coughs> our uh, football field. Uh, and that's an elementary school. Yeah, my school used to be right up here on this hill. And we used to park down below. And that's the new high school, I guess. I don't want to go down that hill. I don't know if I can get back up. Yeah, never been into that, that school. They built that a couple years after I graduated. And I've never seen this elementary school. Yeah, I can't believe they tore down my old school. That's crazy. Okay, so that was my old high school and, well, the school's not there anymore, but this is where I went to a year and a half of middle school and my whole high school. So, yeah, and the high school's not even here. But, uh, so yeah, now I'm going to go drive by my old house that I lived in. And it's only like a couple miles away. So, yeah, we'll see how much that has changed. Yeah, all of this right here used to be a parking lot. And where that school is, 
used to be a parking lot because I used to park right down there about where that second tree is so about right there I used to park there all the time and there used to be a little road you can see those like that right there that little wood sign that used to be a little drive out and you could pull out from there so that's crazy and then below that is that middle school I went to and when it snowed it was impossible to get up this hill so you'd have cars parked all along the side of the road uh, and people would just walk up here to school yeah and this is the middle school I went to for a year and a half and they've added on a section it looks like looks like that where that big white thing is on top all that's been added and now that's the middle school or I guess it is still the middle school but uh, yeah I only went there for like a year and a half hated that school but the high school I loved but uh, yeah now we're gonna check out the house okay this is the road where I used to live on and right up here is my old house that I lived at lived there for about five years and it's this little white house with the red truck and it looks a lot different and this was a subdivision and this school right here they use for bingo and uh, practice for like baseball and stuff in the back they had some baseball courts this used to be a basketball court right here I used to walk across the street and play basketball all this fence is all new but yeah that little white house right there was the house I lived in for about five years while I was up here there used to be a couple big trees in the front yard. Uh, they've added, no, that's, I was going to say they added a dormer on the roof, but that was there. But, yeah, the house looks a lot different. I'll show a picture of what it used to look like. And I used to have a bunch of cars parked there that were all my cars. And, uh, they had a garage in the back and it's now gone but yeah that's the old house I lived in and now I will drive to an overlook that looked over the whole town the downtown area and uh, if I can get up there so yeah that's what we'll head to now this is the overlook I was talking about that overlooks the whole city and uh, let me find a parking spot and I will get out and show you what it looks like okay we are here at the overlook and behind me that's the I think it's the only one in the world uh, it's a Y it's the Y bridge the bridge is actually in like a Y shape and there's actually a stoplight out on the bridge and here's the city got the river down there but as you can see bridge makes a Y shape and there is a stoplight right about here and there's a ton of old churches in this town 
That is the courthouse. One of these buildings, I believe it is that building right, let me zoom out, right here, right, right above this building is I used to work there doing, uh, delivering newspapers. side of town where the mall is and everything but ah, it is ridiculously cold Whew. eyes are watering and they're gonna freeze but uh, yeah this was a really cool spot the overlook and uh, thought I would share that with you all and uh, I'll get back in the car because it is ridiculous. Let me show you. It is 12 degrees outside. And that is insane. Can't wait to get back to Florida. But, so that's the overlook. I'm gonna sit here let my fingers warm back up and I will find somewhere else to uh, show you maybe another spot I used to hang out we used to hang out at the mall because uh, Zanesville did not really have a lot to do so the overlook and the mall and the movies was about it so yeah I'll go find something and uh, stick around Okay, we are actually on the Y Bridge right now at the stoplight. Like I said, I think it's the only one in the world. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Downtown's over that way. And we're going to the area where the mall is and where I used to cruise up and down the road that used to be another thing we used to do a bunch of us would just cruise here's a place called Tom's Ice Cream it's a really cool ice cream shop that looks like it was from the 50s or 60s and it's still original and it's They've been on TV before, and one of the best ice creams you'll ever have is there. So, if you're in Zanesville, check it out. This is, Mayp this is Maple Avenue. This is where I used to cruise up, up and down the streets every weekend. And uh, a lot of people did. That was one of the few things you could do in Zanesville. All right, here we are in front of the old Kmart building that's now out of business. But up at the end of the parking lot by that white car, we used to hang out there before we'd go cruising. Uh, there used to be an ice cream truck that showed up every, every weekend, or there was a little booth there you could get snow cones and stuff. And then on Thursdays, we used to hang out at the Long John Silvers that's no longer in business right up there. Uh, 
and we used to do that every every Thursday we'd hang out because a lot of my friends worked there and right here we used to go to the movies there used to be a movie theater right here uh, you could go see a movie for like two dollars which is no longer there they've built a new one but this is the mall and I'm gonna go walk around it see what all's changed in there haven't been here for a while and that was pretty much the only entertainment besides cruising was walking around the mall pretty much everyone at school and high school went here so you could basically a big hangout so yeah I'm gonna go check it out okay this is the first college I went to well this isn't but I did have classes in this building this is Ohio University and right across the street back there is Zane State College which is a whole new building that I had never seen uh, Zane State College is the college I went to and it is down this way when I was going to it and yeah you can see it right there I went to college here for the first two years and I studied architecture and then I went to college down in Alabama but these are this is the first college I ever went to didn't really care for it either and the roads covered in snow But I had some classes in that building and I had classes in this back building way back here. But uh, yeah, that's the college I went to. Can't think of anything else to show you in Zanesville, but hopefully you enjoyed what I have shown and it's just a quick little video of something a little different but there we go but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video this I thought would be kind of cool something different show you a little bit about you know where I grew up and uh, what I did for college and school and everything uh, but yeah so tomorrow I am heading back down to well tomorrow I'm heading to Kentucky Lexington and then I am heading down to back to Florida uh, so yeah looking forward to the warm weather again and none of this snow <laughs> I don't miss it. I like it for about a week, and that's about it. But, uh, yeah. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. And, yeah. Thanks for watching.